Imagine waking up at 5 a.m. to a quiet and peaceful world, having a special time to make your day great before it even starts. For a Muslim girl, balancing school, faith and social life can be hard. That's why you can use the early morning to set up your day for success and happiness. It's about having a routine that helps you do well in school and makes you feel closer to your faith while not sacrificing time with your loved ones. The big question is, do you want to start your day running late and feeling rushed? Or do you want to be calm, ready and excited about what's ahead? If you're the second one, then let's find out how to make your mornings amazing, fill them with peace and power and help you be at your best in everything you do. Part 1. Wake up with a purpose. First things first, let's talk about waking up. You might think getting out of bed at 5 a.m. sounds really hard, but it's all about making it a habit. When your alarm rings, instead of thinking, oh no, just five minutes more, imagine the alarm calling you to an adventure. Your bed is cozy, but each day is a treasure waiting to be discovered. So you can start by setting your alarm with a tone that makes you feel good not one that scares you awake. And here's another secret trick. Place your alarm a little far from your bed. This way you have to get up to turn it off, and by then you're already on your feet. Now you might wonder, why so early? Well, the early morning is a peaceful time, perfect for talking to Allah, the most glorified, the most high, and getting ready for your day without any rush. It's like having a head start in a race. While everyone else is still sleeping, you're up and getting things done. Also take into account this hadith from the Prophet. May Allah honor him and grant him peace. O oh Allah, bless my nation in their early mornings, i.e. what they do early in the morning. Hassan, he said, when he sent out a raiding party or an army, he would send them at the beginning of the day. He said, one, Sakhar was a man engaged in trade, and he used to send his goods out at the beginning of the day, and his wealth grew and increased. Here's the reference, Sunan ibn Majah, 2236. So this is an attendable hadith as it comes from one of the six major hadith collections. Also remember, it's not just about waking up, it's about waking up with a purpose. Whether it's praying for Fajr or Tahajjud, planning your day, or just enjoying a quiet environment, these early moments are only for you. So tomorrow morning, let's try waking up with a smile, ready to make the most of the day. Allah, the most glorified, the most high, has given us. So will you chase your goals or will you keep dreaming about them in your bed? Your choice. Part two. Energize body and mind. Now, are you inspired to wake up early? Great. But here's the thing, waking up is just the start. Staying awake and not crawling back into bed is where the real challenge begins. Now, you're up and standing. But how do you keep those eyes wide open and your mind active for the day? Stick with me, because I'm about to share some cool tips that will not only keep you awake, but also super excited to jump into your day. You don't want to miss this next part, where we turn those early morning hours into your secret weapon to create an awesome day ahead of you. Let's keep the energy up and dive into what comes after you conquer your snooze button. All right, you're up. And now what? It's time for a morning routine that gets you pumped for the day. After you've managed to leave your cozy bed, the next step is to refresh and energize yourself. A great way to do this is by splashing some cold water on your face or doing wudu and praying to rakat or more. It might sound a bit shocking, but trust me, it works like magic to wake you up and make you feel super fresh. Next up, let's not forget about the most important part of a Muslim's morning, performing the Fajr prayer. This early prayer is not just a routine, it's a powerful way to start your day by connecting with Allah, the most glorified, the most high. 
It gives you a moment of peace and focus before the day gets busy. After praying, take a few minutes to sit quietly and think about what you're grateful for. Gratitude makes your heart happy and sets a positive tone for the day. Now, with your spirits high and your mind focused, it's time to get moving. A little bit of stretching or a few easy exercises can get your blood flowing and make you feel ready to tackle anything. Exercise is like a wake-up call for your body and mind, telling it, hey, it's time to go. And don't forget about breakfast. Eating a healthy breakfast gives you the energy to learn, play and do all the things you love. Choose something yummy and healthy for you, like oatmeal with fruits or a smoothie. It's like fueling up your car. You need good fuel to run at your best. So to sum it up, splash, pray, reflect, move and fuel. With these steps, you'll be more than ready to face whatever comes your way. Stay tuned, because up next, we're going to talk about how to make your study time super effective and fun. Part 3. Studying is like a game. Feeling awake and energized now? Awesome! But there's more to a productive morning than just getting up and moving. Now that your body is awake, it's time to wake up your brain and start studying in a fun way. Yes, you heard me right. Studying can actually be fun, and I'm going to show you how. So, don't even think about zoning out. Next, we'll explore how to make your study sessions both effective and enjoyable, turning them into something you're excited about and look forward to. So get ready for some cool tricks and tips that will change the way you think about studying forever. Let's turn those study sessions into a breeze. Okay, so you're up, refreshed and full of energy. Now let's talk about hitting the books in a way that doesn't feel like a chore. First up, create a study spot that you love. This could be a corner of your room with a comfy chair and a little desk or maybe a spot at the kitchen table where the morning light shines in just right. The point is that your study spot should make you feel happy and focused. Then, it's all about making a plan for your studies. Break your study time into short chunks, like 25 minutes of studying with 5-minute breaks between. This method, called the Pomodoro Technique, keeps your brain fresh and makes it easier to absorb information. During your breaks, do something fun or relaxing, like stretching, doodling, or checking out what's new outside your window. Now, let's make studying even cooler with some tech tricks. Use apps on your phone or tablet that turn learning into a game. There are apps for every need, from memorizing facts to practicing math problems. It's like playing a video game, but you're learning at the same time. Remember, it's also super important to ask for help when you need it. If there's something tricky you're not getting, talk to a Muslim sister, a teacher, or even look up a tutorial online. There's no shame in needing a little extra explanation. Lastly, celebrate your wins, no matter how small. Finished a chapter? Give yourself a high five. Solved a tough math problem? Do a little victory dance. Celebrating keeps you motivated and makes studying feel rewarding. So there you have it. A study routine that's effective, fun and totally doable. But wait, there's more to a productive morning than just studying. Up next, I'll share how to keep your energy up and your mind sharp all morning. You don't want to miss these next tips. Part 4. Keep the brain sharp. Now that you're awesome at studying, you might wonder, what comes next? Well, making the best morning routine doesn't end with feeling awake and energized. It's also about what you do after to keep that momentum going. So don't get off the video just yet. I've got some cool secrets to share that will make the rest of your morning as fun and productive as your study time. We'll talk about snacks that make your brain powerful and quick fun activities that will feel like a game you're going to learn how to keep feeling full of energy all the way to lunchtime and even after. So stay with me 
because you really don't want to miss out on these super cool tips to make your mornings even more amazing. Now that your brain is all powered up from studying and other activities, let's talk about how to keep that energy rolling. After studying, it's crucial to take a short break to re-energize your mind. But how? You can do this through enjoyable brain games and healthy snacks. That's how. First up, brain exercises. I'm not talking about more studying. I'm talking about fun puzzles, like crosswords or sudoku, that you can do to keep your mind sharp but relaxed. These are like mini workouts for your brain that don't feel like work. You can even play educational games on your phone or tablet. They're fun and you learn without even realizing it. Now, let's chat about those snacks. Eating the right foods can help your brain work even better. Think about snacks that are good for you, like nuts, fruits or yogurt. These aren't just tasty, they're fuel for your brain. They help you think better and keep your energy up. And don't forget water. Staying hydrated is super duper important. Drinking enough water makes sure your brain is working at its best. So grab a water bottle and keep it with you. Combining these engaging activities with nutritious snacks will keep you feeling energized and prepared for any challenges. Plus, you'll be taking care of your brain, which is super important when you're working hard in school. So keep your energy high and your mind sharp with these simple steps. Your mornings are about to get even better. Up next, we're diving into how all these morning activities tie together for an amazing payoff. You're doing great and the best part of your morning is just around the corner. Stay tuned. Part 5. What are your intentions? Just by implementing everything we've covered so far, you should already have a powerful morning routine. Yet there's one more step to make your morning routine complete and more powerful. So you've got your studies down, your brains charged up and your bodies fueled. Now let's put it all together with a final tip that will make your morning routine unbeatable. This next part is the cherry on top of a perfect morning. Get ready, because this is the secret ingredient to making every day start on the right foot. Stick around. You don't want to miss this last piece of the puzzle to master your morning routine. Now, for the grand finale of your unbeatable morning routine, setting your intentions for the day. This step is like drawing a map of where you want to go today. It's not just about what you need to do, but also how you want to feel and what you want to achieve by the day's end. Start by taking a quiet moment to think about your goals for the day. These can be anything from taking a test, being kinder to your siblings, or finishing a project. Write these goals down in a notebook or on your phone. Seeing your goals written makes them feel more real. Next, Think about the kind of person you want to be during the day. Do you want to be patient, brave, or maybe more comprehensive? Picking a personal quality to focus on can help guide your actions and decisions. After setting your intentions, take a deep breath and visualize yourself achieving these goals. Imagine how good it will feel to cross them off your to-do list or to be the person you aim to be. This step is powerful. It's like giving yourself a pep talk before you even start. By setting your intentions each morning, you're not just planning your day. You're aiming your heart and mind in the direction you want to go. This is the final touch that pulls your entire morning routine together, giving you purpose and direction. And there you have it. With your studies tackled, brain and body fueled, and intentions set, you're more than ready to take on the day. Remember, each morning is a new opportunity to grow, learn, and be the best version of yourself. So, make the most of it, starting right now. Part 6. Every day, step by step. As you step into this new routine, remember this one thing. It's not just about following steps. It's about transforming your life one morning at a time. But here's the catch. Changing isn't easy, and there will be mornings when the comfort of your bed feels better than everything else. 
In those days, the outside world will seem too daunting and your goals will feel out of reach. And this is where the real challenge lies. It's in these moments of doubt and hesitation that your determination is tested. Will you let the snooze button win or will you rise ready to embrace the day ahead? Obviously, the temptation to fall back into old habits will be strong. Some days you might stumble, finding it hard to keep your energy up or to stay focused on your goals. But remember, with every sunrise that Allah grants you to see comes a new opportunity to push forward, strengthen your willpower and prove to yourself that you have what it takes. This journey you're on is more than just morning routines. It's about building a life you're proud of, step by step, day by day, morning by morning. So, as we near the end of this journey, ask yourself, are you ready to face the challenge head on? Are you ready to turn your intentions into action and your doubts into determination? The tension you feel, that push and pull between ease and effort, is where improvement is born. It's in this very tension that your true potential lies, waiting to be unleashed. Last part. Make this part of your journey. And here we are, at the very end of today's journey. Now imagine waking up each day feeling in control, not rushed or frazzled, but calm, focused and ready. You now have the power to make your mornings a series of intentional steps that lead you to success, both in your studies and in your personal growth. As the days turn into weeks, you'll notice changes. Your grades will start to improve because your study sessions are more efficient. Your mind will feel sharper thanks to the healthy snacks and brain exercises. Your heart will feel lighter, filled with the peace of morning prayers and the clarity of your daily intentions. Like this, you won't just get through your days, but you'll thrive, making the most out of every moment. So, will you bless someone today with the same knowledge you had? Will you help another sister who has the same problem you had before watching this? If you want to help the Ummah and share this valuable knowledge, all you have to do is like the video, comment on what you would like the next video to be about, and share with a Muslimah who may be facing this challenge. This journey you've embarked on, guided by a simple morning routine, will lead you to discover your best self. And this is just the beginning. With each new morning, you're not just waking up, you're rising up, ready to face the world with a strong heart and a clear mind. The payoff is not just in the productive days, but in the person you become along the way. So, take a moment to celebrate how far you've come. You've turned your mornings from a struggle into a success.